Hi, my name is Nancy and I'm living with bipolar disorder. I have three teenage daughters. My oldest, Sarah, and my youngest, Leah, have bipolar disorder. In first grade, we started to feel like there was something not right with our daughter and we talked with the psychiatrist, we talked with um, the school counselor and they sort of poo-pooed it and said, you know, this is just a normal phase thing. But over the next several years, things just went from bad to worst. In second grade, we started to see some very paranoid behaviors, some um, very strong separation anxiety issues to the point where I couldn't even let my daughter know that I was in the school if I was volunteering because she would hunt me down and would just could not separate from me and she would obsess. And you know, as she got older, we realized that was no longer age appropriate sort of preschool separation anxiety kinds of issues. And she started to really struggle with her relationships with her peers. That's when um, we really started to push more for getting an intervention. And after two years with working with a team of a psychiatrist and a psychologist, they finally said, well, you know, maybe we should look at medication. She actually hallucinated on the first one. And we were very concerned and brought this to their attention. And they proceeded to just try um, several other antidepressants. Now, if I flash forward to now, I know that having an adverse reaction like that is a, a very much of a red flag for possibly having bipolar disorder. You know, when, when we were on the fifth medication and she still wasn't getting any better, that's when we said, you know, we need to delve deeper into this. And in talking with the psychologist who ran the different tests, you know, she felt that there were clearly some very significant things going on with our child that were just not normal. She was the one that actually gave us a book and said, you know, you might want to read this. And that was sort of the aha moment for us where we said, wow, these pages are describing our situation perfectly. And at that point we switched psychiatrists and that was when we got the label of bipolar disorder. And that was when my daughter was going into fourth grade. She's a junior now in high school. Uh, she's got um, know, three, five grade point average. She's got a job as a gymnastics coach. Uh, she's on the gymnastics team. She is just, in my mind, um, a success story. It's been a very, very bumpy road and um, has tested our family to our limits, but I would say that there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel, at least with, with her. I would like people to realize that bipolar disorder is um, an illness but it's, and it's a chronic condition, but it is not um, something that defines the person. Um, it's just something that you live with and it's a part of you. Don't be afraid to trust your gut. I think the mom instinct or the dad instinct is um, very important. If something doesn't feel right, um, it probably isn't. And don't feel that the professionals have all the answers, get second and third opinions. Um, just don't settle, I guess that's that's my message.